Howdy, folks. This is just a reminder that if you like this content, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially subscribing to the video. And be sure to hit the bell notification when you do so that you always get notified whenever I have a new video out, whether it's Mysterious World or something else. These days, I usually have several videos out a week. Hope you enjoy this. Dan's in Phoenix listening on Catholic.com, our website. Dan, if you could be a little bit quick with your question, we'll get you an answer. Sure. Good afternoon. A uh, longtime Protestant who's been uh, researching Catholicism for the last six months or so. Um, uh -huh. I've been reading uh, the book Mary and the Fathers of the Church, because one of my big questions is on Mary. Mm -hmm. And Germanus of Constantinople... Um, is, is one of the, the, the fathers that's spoken of. And um, he is saying, according to the book, that um, we do not need any other mediator in God's presence. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And I thought that Christ was the, me the only mediator that we need. Okay, well, I've... I've read and written extensively about the Church Fathers, and I'm not familiar with Germanus of Constantinople, but let's just go with what you said about him. It doesn't strike me as false. Christ, we don't need another mediator besides Christ. Um, he is the mediator of the New Covenant. That doesn't mean he's the only person that can intercede for us, though. As we mentioned earlier in the show, St. Paul uh, commands his readers to pray for each other, and that's intercession. It's not mediation. That's mediation is something different. Um, Christ was the one who instituted the new covenant. He me mediated it in that sense. He also uh, is the mediator in the sense that he's the only God man. He's the bridge between God and man. And, but and I'm sorry. I, but I, I, hang, hang on. I need to finish my point because we're getting real close to the end of the show. Um, you know, if you look in uh, 1 Timothy 2, where Paul talks about Christ being the only mediator, just read the four verses right before he says that, where he talks about, I want people to pray for each other. And we have evidence of additional people praying for us in heaven. St. Paul also says in Romans 8 that the Holy Spirit's praying for us in heaven. He intercedes for us with groans too deep for words. And if you look in the book of Revelation, you see the 24 elders who represent the leaders of God's people people in heaven, offering uh, the prayers of the saints to God under the form of incense. And in a little bit later, in Revelation 8, St. Paul sees an angel go to the altar of God and offer, again, offer incense, this time mingled with the prayers of the saints to God. And since they don't literally have incense in heaven because they don't have bodies, this is mental. This is intercession. So we see um, intercessory activity happening for other people, both on earth and in heaven. Jesus is the one mediator, but we've got lots of intercessors. Uh, Dan, uh, I'm going to have to leave it there because the music is about to play. And before we go, just one more reminder that if you like what you've watched, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially subscribing to this channel. I'm trying to grow it, and I'd really appreciate your help. Thank you, and God bless.